Hey guys, Warmer here, and welcome back to Dying Light 2, episode 19. Where today? Well, I think we did all the side missions that we were supposed to. Well, I don't think it's a must, but I make it a must. And now all of a sudden there's three question marks. Uh, you know, right outside the bazaar. I wonder if I go back to the previous videos and look at this exact same spot. I wonder if one of these previously discovered places become question marks again. Or... Oh, I don't know. Or... There are missions that are popping up because I'm making progress in the story. That's also something I didn't think about. But uh, it's about to be daytime pretty soon. Turn on my light. I mean, how long is it? It's almost eight o'clock, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, as it just become nighttime. I see. In mind, I thought I thought the exact opposite. That's all right. I mean, the bed right here. Zip. And then I can read just the brightness and fix everything. I don't know why the music's playing. I'm not in a chase or anything. There we go. Now that, that's, there we go. That looks a lot better. Look at that beautiful sunrise back there. It's a beautiful game. But alright. Look at this main mission. Well. It's called the raid, and we've uh, neglect neglected doing it because there's been side missions to do. But now the raid mission is the only mission that's left, unless there's question marks or holding more missions. I don't know. Regardless, we're doing the raid today. Hey, Herman. Hey, Herman. Where's Sophie? Hey, why were you on the mission? Friends could have used you. <clears throat> okay. Well, I guess that means I should wait here. Joe will pay for what they did. I had a bad feeling about it from the start. I had a feeling Carl's plan sucked, and yet I let him lead. Easy, I just woke up <laughs> right up in my face. <laughs> uh, why didn't you send Herman out of curiosity? Why didn't you send Herman on the mission? I wouldn't have stood a chance against that beast. Him? He's strong, but as helpless as a child. It's one damn big child. You don't understand. Herman's almost deaf. Oh. He used to be my mother's bodyguard. He's been around us as long as I can remember. And after she died, he stayed close to us. One time, the lights in my shelter went out. 
Infected broke through a window. Herman blocked the path and tossed a grenade into a nearby infected. He survived the explosion, but lost his hearing. In a face-to-face -face battle, he's nearly unbeatable. But if he's caught from behind, he's as vulnerable as a child. A killer combination, especially for him. That's why I prefer to keep an eye on him. Sometimes I wonder if he's watching over me, or I'm watching over him. I see. Makes sense. Uh, is it connected to Lucas's murder? You think Jack and Joe could have had something to do with Lucas's murder? Joe, perhaps. He's a total psycho and a thief. He knew the peacekeepers would hang him if they caught him. But Jack wouldn't let him. He's a coward. He thinks rationally. Okay. I'm getting too angry about this. Don't beat yourself up. Things could have been worse, too. If I had listened to myself, we'd have water and more of our people would still be alive. You were just doing your job. You were following Carl's lead. Yeah, but I won't let him lead the bazaar to its doom. I see. So what next? Right, so what's the plan now? From now on, I'm following my gut. Last time, something like this happens on my watch. If you'd hurried back there, maybe some of our guys would have made it. I thought a pilgrim like you was supposed to run like a fucking gazelle. Already shut up! What? If he'd have made it in time to help, we'd be having a party. Not a wake. In case you change your mind. Man. He can be a real pain in the ass. But we'll do something good for the city one day. Bernie. I gather you were close with Bernie. He tried to be a poet. Kept showing me his work and said all the other guys were too stupid to understand. I never told him how bad it was. Oh. He was a good kid. I took him into the group when he lost his father in a dark zone. He was ten years old. That's pretty young. Too young. But he had no one else. So I took him in. So what were you doing, you cats, uh, Jack and Joe? If you managed to take out those bandits, it... Jack Cock and Joe Cunt. You think killing Monsieur Cock and Cunt will change something? Death usually changes a lot in a person's life. Carl was wrong. We should have gone after them right away. But right or wrong, we have to help him. He's one of us. We'll rescue him and retrieve the crystals from Jack and Joe. Besides, I won't let them get away from killing my people. Ralph, Susie, Logan, Birdie, they deserve revenge. And Jack and Joe sentenced them to death. So they'll die. No radio. Yeah, it picks up static sometimes. Go see Alberto. He can fix stuff like that on the spot. Thanks. Okay. Oh, someone's listening in. Azor here. Leave, but make sure no one sees you. You two make a pretty pair, Aiden. I'm on the roof nearby. We have to talk. Now. It's about saving your life. About saving my life, you said. Tear them apart. I swear. I'll gut them. Who was that? I'll write down below, but. So they are over there by the UV light over there, okay? Woo! I thought I was going to land. If I didn't land it. Well, at least it's a short time up the building in our run for our lives. Get me across there. And up here. There's a bunch of PK here, huh? I'm just gonna stand there, or will you come over? I'm coming! Yeesh! <laughs> what do you want? I don't like what's going on here, Aiden. First, Jack and Joe's bandits killed Carl's people. Now Sophie's getting ready to retaliate. You're not a part of that, are you? You said you wanted me to get close to them. 
We've got to search Sophie's camp. That's why I came to warn you. Rumors have started. You found the Lazarus for me. They may suspect you of being a PK spy. Why should that be a problem? It doesn't seem like it. They seem happy to take whatever help is offered. So they say. But those people hate us, Aiden. Along with anyone who works with us. So if they do suspect, especially someone like Sophie, I can handle them. Lucas thought so too. Look how he ended up. Be a pity if I found you in a ditch somewhere with a piece of your hide cut out. <clears throat> Why are you telling me this? You came here just to warn me? You helped me with the Lazarus. And I take care of my allies. Sophie's just fighting for water, that's all. I don't think she suspects anything. <laughs> you think so? She hates the peacekeepers. She blames us for not helping the bazaar and for her mother's death. So when we start questioning her people, you better be careful. Thanks for the warning. You gain any intel for our investigation? Sophie's also wondering who killed Lucas. What else would she say? They know if we can prove they killed Lucas, it'll be a bloodbath. Find out from Sophie when she's planning the attack. Keep me informed where you are. Be careful. Don't trust the people of the bazaar. They're more dangerous than they seem. They were lucky for you. But rather more on the unlucky side for you. I'm not on the PK side. Trust the people of the bazaar. No, I know what you're saying. Don't trust the people of the PK. I gotta head over back this way. No! Oh, oh, I didn't mean to throw that. This is only gonna cough off. Oh, crap, I'm in the back of a truck. Oh, crap. Ah! Get that, get, get that out of my hand. Give me a coin. That won't cause less problems. <laughs> Oh boy! I put me up already. I'm pressing up and up and up and up and up and nothing's happening. Okay, so back to Selfie's camp. Oh okay, yeah, we're gonna be fully siding with the survivors. I've told you guys this. I don't know how many times by now. Like I said, I'm gonna play this game again and fully side with the PK. It's it well, looks like Sophie's not here. I, I, I literally must, before. Must be. Dad, it's still early. One thing. I need that one thing. Thing? What do you mean, Dad? Hey, have you seen Sophie? Sophie? Uh, yes, she went. She said uh, she went that way. Exactly. Thanks. Wait! There's more! One more thing! Something's wrong with it. Not working with the... It's broken! That... Uh, oh. Dad's asking if there's something wrong with your radio? Oh, uh, it hisses sometimes, but as long as it works, no point messing with it. Um, can I... Ask you a question. Sure. Call me Aiden. Vincenzo. Uh, Aiden, how do you become a pilgrim? Does that mean you're a murderer? Vincenzo, why would you? Why would you? Dad, I'm asking because I'm curious. Will you tell me, Aiden? Eh, sure. It's not very interesting, though. <laughs> not that exciting. I've had to kill people, but I'm not a murderer. All being a pilgrim is to me now is a means to an end. To what end? Vincenzo, leave him alone! To find the only family I've ever known. Did you? Not yet, but I might be close. I hope you succeed. I've never found Federico. Who? Federico. He was my best friend. We were like brothers. We'd known each other forever. He disappeared like the other kids. Because of those fucking tests. 
You mean the GRE tests? Tests? You mean GRE tests? You heard that when they built the walls, they were trying to create a vaccine here? It all fell apart in a couple of weeks. One day, Federico vanished into thin air, and we'd been playing football. I went to my house after that. He went home too, and I never saw him again. I'm sure they took him, and that's not all. You see, he wasn't the only child who went missing that winter. There were others. There were others. Two girls disappeared from the building next door at the same time. And more, all across the city. And none of them have ever been found? No, but based on what Federico's mother said, I have a feeling I know what happened. Federico had been in the hospital a month earlier with pneumonia. His mother was told that some GRE doctor had ordered blood tests, but they wouldn't tell her why. A week after he was released from the hospital, he was gone. What's the doctor's name? Do you remember this doctor's name? No one knew, and no one at the hospital would say. Only that he was on classified GRE business. Then, everything went to hell. The GRE collapsed. After that, some of the kids were sighted in the central loop. But, not Federico. Every day, I wonder what happened to him. Maybe you'll find him someday. I hope he's alive. And that you find him someday. It must be annoying to have such a speech problem. Like, I know, I, I have a stutter and it's sometimes super annoying. Maybe I'm trying to talk to friends. I don't know. Here. How's your radio? Working now? Sometimes it works. Sometimes, no. Roll the dice. Susie, Logan, I swear I'll tear them apart and eat the pieces! Bertie! Ralph! To your help! I love you! What now? Do you remember the beginning of the fall, Aiden? <laughs> Vaguely. I remember it as if it were yesterday. we have been defending the church against infected for some time. My mother was in charge. She was losing dozens of people every day. She was keeping everyone alive while I was keeping an eye on Bernie. She begged the peacekeepers for help. But they ignored her. Wow. Eventually, she was injured. It was dawn. They led me to her. To the roof of the sacristy. She saw me and made me promise to look after my brother. <laughs> she said it as if she was lending me a car and asking me to have it returned intact. After that, she appointed Carl as her successor, with me at his side. You'll grow up to be a far better leader than Carl, she said. But while the world is burning, people won't listen to someone so young. She was wrong. I've been thinking like that all my life. But not anymore. Now I understand, my mother. You have to be ruthless to be a leader. I wasn't ready then. I am now. I think I know what you're talking about. And I know what loss is like. Talking about someone in particular? <laughs> about my sister. I'm sorry. No, maybe you don't have to be. We'll find out. That's why you came to town. For her. Yeah. Sophie, we have to talk. Time to act. The quicker we do this, the less prepared Jack and Joe will be. It is. Oh. And we started on the wrong foot. A sip of courage. Should you be drinking this much before the mission, Barney? Me? <laughs> I got the toughest liver in Philidor. Worry more about yourself, Pilgrim. Where's Sophie? There. On the rooftop. I'm watching you, Pilgrim. He's already drunk. <laughs> oh, crap, we got a good way down there. I could take him out, but we're doing a mission. Man, very odd small talk. She moved from right here to over there. She's fast. 
I mean, I go the same route that she did, and we try to like measure and they chat with Barney. Yeah, makes sense. Sneaky motherfuckers. Apparently the peacekeepers are watching us. We'll let them see what happens to Jack and Joe, and that we can do it to them too. Well, you said it was time to act. We're acting. I sent three scouts towards the camp. Carl and the crystals must be somewhere inside the building. Okay. Ooh, bandit camps. These are like uh, mini bases, if you want to put it that way. Or if you want to put it to the Far Cry camps, it's kind of the same thing. Go in there, we take out who we need to, which is the commander. Or commanders, in some camp cases. And then, if we claim it, it can become a safe zone for us. And for whoever is controlling the area. Either the survivors or the PK. Not many guards. Most are probably asleep. There are a few entrances to the camp. The front one, suicide. It's got the most guards. Oh man. Anytime first, we'll move in from the other side. And then we'll catch them in a pincer movement. If anything goes wrong, we retreat to our base. Where? The Tango Motel. Tango Motel, eh? Why are we gonna tango? Man, all these little red dots you see, those are all enemies I have to take care of. <laughs> this is gonna be fun! See that parachute right there? That's the airdrop. Well, we, we actually went up there already. I ran into this area, I knew exactly what it is, and didn't say a thing. All I knew is I had to run through here quickly because all these guys were around. We were running through this camp to get up to that uh, airdrop a few episodes ago. Like she said, the front, the main entrance is suicide. There's already the main leader is there, and a long guy with an alarm is over there. So I saw another one over there. But over this side. There's one guy over there with an alarm, but in any case, if they ring the alarm, the others will come closer to help them out. There's another entrance to that area there. I run across there and get onto those there, I can hop through the gaps there. Well, crazy. Let's do this. And look! Yeah. Huh. Change of plans, Adam. What now? Alright, is it telling us I'll be stopping that we can take enemies down from behind? We've done that with a whole bunch of zombies already, but not really much with any people if I remember correctly. But we can use broken bottles, coins, bricks. Those I usually throw 500 miles into the air. Yeah, we can use those to distract them. Although... I could throw some coins and then look for a bottle. Or a brick I could throw. I we can also hide in the grass if needed, but Sophie's apparently changed plans. They attacked our safe house. Who? Sophie? You have my men there. Find Carl. Save him and get our crystals. Fast. I'll do what I can. I need to turn off my light, because if I don't turn off my light, they're gonna see. We can hide in these tall grasses here. Oh, hello. You must be one of Sophie's men. As he just mentioned. Hiding in the grass with me, eh? Okay, now. Where is one of those guys? Oh, one of those guys is walking away that way over there. Okay. Huh. 
How can I do this? Is he coming back? He's coming back. He's coming back. <laughs> You're too good for this place, huh? <laughs> Just you, I. Which way are you facing? I can't tell. I see. I see. Don't turn around. Gotcha. All right, fantastic. He's down. One down, money to go. What's this, a weapon? Whoop! first saw me, I ran right back into the grass. And then he saw the body, it was more interesting to that one. That's a brick. I needed it. I wanted to open this to grab that. Ooh, I can open this. Nice, give me little things. Okay, pick that up, pick that up. Ooh, medium lockbox. Okay. There we go. Get that open. We got here weapon. I'll take it. I gotta be careful. I don't know where the next enemies are. Probably up. I don't know. Anything for me to loot? Oh, I see another enemy. I saw his red outline. He was well. He's up there. He's walking that way right now. Nah, nothing, nothing here to loot. If you didn't do this whole thing quietly, then great. Why can't they move up? There we go. Question where is he? Is he coming back? He is, he is. Down, 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 quickly. He's standing right there. Oh, he's going up. Let me up. Where'd he go? There he is. He's got an alarm, so oh crap. Nope, nope. Ah. I one shot him somehow. Oh, he's friend now. Where does he think? I one shot him too. So so far, we're good. Is this the 200 point damage weapon? It is. <laughs> hey, let's use it. Why not? So level seven when you compare to all these level threes. Oh, you're the guy that uh, was there in the bushes with me. On the grass, not the bushes. Big difference. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. Who sees me? You, all the way up there, you see me of all people. I don't have my light on, do I? No. But these things just started going at each other, really? Oh, he's gonna fall down, isn't he? Yep. Yeah. Ah, too late! Ah, it's alright. Bring him on! Ow! Oh, fix your head. And down you go. So you left your head up here. Next. I don't know how I got the 200 damage weapon. We were currently like low in the 30, 40, 50s. Hey, I'll take it. 
Now there's more down below. I'll go down and take care of Hey! Why don't you throw- Oh, no, 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 I will not let you signal your friends. Forget that. Oh, it's our friends. Well, hey. It's a bit dark in here. Let's see what's in here. Lots of valuables. Oh, nice. That's a med kit. I haven't crafted a med kit, man. I don't know how long. Look how many I can make. Oh, there's more over there. Are they our friends or are they. Yeah, they're our friends. They didn't have a red outline. What we got here? That's another met kit. What is in here? Some wiring, some cigarettes. Okay. Anything else for me to loot? That looks like we're good. Okay, let's see. What else is there to loot? Anything up here that I might have missed? A body I didn't search or something? What is up here? I wonder if you could claim this camp beforehand. It is part of the main story, so probably not. Nothing to loot. All this thing does is bring us upward. Not like we need to get here, but still. You can turn that windmill off. Why would we do that? Regardless, being up here is another easy way to get over there because on the far below us is a zip line and it'll take us to there which allows us to climb further up to the airdrop but well, we've already go found our own way to there a few episodes ago okay so there's more enemies well now there's more over there yeah. Now, there is something that hasn't popped up yet. I know exactly when it pops up and how it's triggered and whatnot. But the thing is, you see all these boxes all these, with all the things in them? If you claim the camps or like the wa uh, if you claim the water tower or uh, any other, like the Hanfield Electrical Station. If we, claim, if we claim that thing, all the boxes and all the loot will vanish. You will never be able to get them back. So do some th th thorough looting before you do anything with claiming the actual camp. Because before you know it, as far as I've seen from another video, I think even inhibitor boxes disappear, so, um, yeah. Hey, isn't this the way we came to get up here? I think it is. And my voice is cracking. I don't know why it happens sometimes. I don't see anything else for us to loot. Definitely on the lower floor there's more. We can see the bandit, the bandit lieutenant health bar up there on the screen. That's the big boy right down there. Before that, I'm going to go down one floor. You've already looted everything in here. 
I'm gonna see, I'm gonna go see here, what, what is over here? I'm taking that, oh, what's this? A playing card. Huh. The vent? Yeah, sort of. Gotta keep in mind, they, they, they can see my light, so... You gotta be careful of that. Make sure don't aim at them or else they're gonna be like, what is that light? As I have failed uh, playing the game beforehand sometimes, well not beforehand, my other save file, I tried to sneak upon someone with my light on. <laughs> uh, yeah. Didn't think they could see that, well, of course they would. Give me that weapon that looks deadly. Let's see. Oh, there? Yeah. Okay, woo! Old Lord Lucka! With the money! Nice! Is that everything in here? Oh, there's a box out here. What you got? Brace it! That's a valuable. Is that everything? Maybe not quite. There's another door behind that big guy, which is the guy we need to take out. Make sure my light is off. I can sneak up behind him, but I mean, he's an absolute elephant. Look how big he is! I can try, but that guy up there and that guy by the, by the gate might come to assist. Can I stab them? Oh, I mean, that brings me near death. Whoa! And he's done for. Ow! No, oh, don't call for your friends. I don't think you're having your friends, though. I think I killed them. Alright. I think that's every enemy. Oh. Look at all these things that's popping up through this door. All those icons that's flashing. That's things we want! And if we claim the camp, all those things will go bye-bye. We don't want that. Like I said earlier, we need to do some thorough looting or else. It's all gonna go bye-bye. All those alcoholic bottles, all those, all these. Those, these, this, that, that, this. <laughs> Luckily it all pops up, some, pops up on the side so you can see what I get. Bunch of arrows and crossbow bolts and all those things. Not everything. I did scan the area and I saw red outlines of two. There's a red outline way down there. There's two of them. What are they? Infected? Oh, yeah, has to be. It's gotta be zombies. It's showing up as a red outline. Is that everything? What about this room? Okay, that is just a throwable. Give me all these things. Nice! Nothing up there. Something in here? No, it's the door, door handle that's lighting up saying you can open the door. What about over here? Anything else? Trash can. For some scraps. Uh, I think I got everything. At least I think so. Alright. 
Liberate the camp. Down here. This is the pop-up I was talking about. After we claim the flag, the pop-up, well, all the loot, like I said, will disappear. But we, I think we got everything, so... There we go. This camp now belongs to the survivors. It'll always belong to the survivors. Doesn't matter if you do a PK playthrough or whatnot. Because. Oh no, wait, that's a bear. It's not where I thought it was. And this area can still be claimed. Okay. Who rewards that alone? All right. Now that we've claimed the camp, uh, we need to find Carl. Well. Is he here? Where's everyone else? They were attacked. Where are the crystals? Over there. Radio Sophie, fast. Sophie, I have Carl. He's okay. What about you guys? Sophie? Sophie, are you there? You have to help the maiden. Where's Jack and Joe? Where's Jack and Joe? They fled the camp as soon as they heard the sound of fighting. I don't know what they're planning. They said they were waiting a backup. What backup? I don't know exactly. Joe was talking about the renegades. Remnants of the old army. Stationed on the dam across town. Lately, they've been spotted at the bazaar. Really? Well, where should I go? Where should I go? Tango Motel. Sophie's hideout is there. Run. Fast. I can't believe I let them pull me like that. Jack and Joe are just plain sneaky scumbags. Before I go running for my life, I'm gonna quickly back a quick visit to the shop I'll get under here and buy all of those immunity boosters. And sell all my valuables. Check for better armor. He's got nothing good. Let's go. Finally, someone showed her the fuck of this place. She mentioned the Tango Hotel earlier, and now they may, might be in trouble. Really? It's on the other side of the chemicals? There looks like a clean, easy way to it. Not too much trouble. Ugh. Just get my stamina back up. Ugh. Oh, I landed right on top of it. Effective. Nice. Not what I planned, but hey. Just make sure we stay clear of these chemicals. Oh, really? Where? That way, huh? Interesting. Nathan, I heard some noises coming from Jack and Joe's little village. That's not all, Hakon. Sophie and Barney's hideout was attacked. It could be peacekeepers. Fuck. Remember what you're here for, Aiden? We were supposed to get into the central loop and not get involved in local conflicts. Don't get involved in this. Go back to the metro. We will share what we have with Ator, and maybe he will let us pass. Now, I'm gonna go to Ator. Because that is what we promised. You're right. I'll head to the metro station. Smart decision. I'm in touch. I know what happens if we go in there. 
We'll do that in the PK base here, perhaps. Right, now where is that inhibitor container? I want it. It's 50 meters. And I'm here. It's... Oh, I know where it is. That area is locked behind the mission. I wonder if they're gonna be suspicious. I didn't show up to high help them. Man, I need way more stamina. Oh, I'm so used to my other profile, I got so much stamina and so much health. I like balancing it out. Gotta go all the way over there. Wait a minute. Hold the phone. We can fast travel to the place, can't we? We can! Wonders! That saves us a lot of time. Although we did miss out on parkour XP, but uh, whoa, whoa, okay. Let everything load in. And yeah, we're back down here. Right, so what, we gotta meet in or a hat gun or what? You know they don't pay overtime here, right? Don't matter to me. I need the money. Horn was right about you. What? I'm ten at the max six. Yeah, yeah. Good. I didn't go to the motel. You were right. There was something fishy about it. You know, it looks like you were getting close to the truth. Either they killed Lucas, or they know who did. We'll force them to talk. How will you do that? By taking control of the water tower. Jack and Joe took off somewhere. Only stragglers left in the tower at best. This is the only source of water in the area. And whoever controls the water, controls old Villador. So you'll take it by force? I could. With the bandits gone, the bazaar will station guards at the tower. At the first sight of the PK, there'll be an immediate clash of forces. Well, I don't want to give them an excuse for war. However, if someone took over the tower quietly, it would be a fait accompli. So you want me to sneak in there? Yes, and disarm the charges led by Jack and Joe. Take out whoever's left up there, but be careful. The tower's the tallest structure in the area. The only way up was cut off. I can try. Seems like the only option right now. All right. Go for it. If you pull it off, we'll gain massive leverage for the bazaar to tell us who the killer was. Ah, so that's your plan. Well, guess who, guess who I'm gonna give it to? It's a library. Let's make that our final act of the day. The water tower. So now we did the raid, and now we're doing the water tower. Wonderful. Okay, the water tower is only 200 meters away. Nice. Now remember that that water tower had a lock on it? That's because of this mission. Now we're gonna be able to get in there. In that water tower right there. Yeah. Looks like the bandits fled the water tower. Ada wants to take control of the water and force the bizarre folk to talk. So this is how he's looking into Lucas's murder. He's not such an idiot after all. But watch out for Joe, Aiden. 
They got the clown, but he's dangerous. The doubt can just run off like that. I want to jump on the very edge, but uh, failed to do so anyway. Okay, so we gotta get up there. Huh? We're running more up there. Very tippy top. Detective, and it's forward. Is it in here? That'd be nice. Later, Jack and Joe are in the tower. They're gonna blow it up. Fuck! You can't let that happen. The tower's mined. Try and disarm the charges fast. Okay, so we have to take off the bombs. Ready? Is that how you disarm a bomb? Just take it off. Well, let's make a, make a, open this door, maybe? You know, I know this is how this is supposed to go. You're supposed to start the tower from down here. And then as soon as you start to your lock pick it, you will be interrupted by the infection. <laughs> oh! I feel like I'm playing my, my other profile. I just one-shot all the infected. <laughs> This weapon's a treat. I don't know how we got it, but... We should be okay now. Okay, so there's more bombs in the tower. You have to d discern the bombs by just simply taking it off. Does that work in real life? Probably not. <laughs> and probably blow yourself up. Trying to do that. Okay, now the bottom side of the tower is safe, but what about the rest of the tower? Now the end's been skill points and what? Ooh, combat. What should it be? Perhaps blocking projectiles or a drop kick? Oh. Oh, the headstone! Remember in Night Night 1 when we used to do, like, throw him back down to the ground and then just jump on her head? Or what was it? He stomped on her head, didn't he? I want that. I'm gonna work towards that. Okay. Up here. Up over there. Well. Up here? Swing up there nearby. nearby, according to the meters, it's up above me. Can I get in there? No, that's blocked off. I guess I gotta go back down and around. Yeah. Oh, I hear it beeping. Oh, found another bomb. Okay, that one's off. Uh, up? This way? Nah. Oh, I see. Oh, wait, there's plenty of yellow stuff. Anything that's painted yellow or yellow tarp or anything yellow is always something you can climb onto. Sure. We won't leave you alive. No one will. Excuse me to detonate it, Jack. No, we were supposed to take repeat. Just collect money. Jack, keep it back. They'll get what they deserve. They will die. Jack, I'm warning you. Oh, I thought they were behind the door. Okay. And the water is safe. Oh, here's the inhibitor. 
How many? One, two, three, two! Nice! Since we have two, too bad uh, they were too low level for one of those uh, sen the centers or the quarantine buildings. Because they give four. That's one. More inhibitor that will give us an upgrade. And then three more for another. <coughs> now what do I gotta do? Up. Seems logical. <laughs> there we go. Let's talk. The time for talking is over. We're gonna fuck this place up. And you're not listening. You're done. I want it to be over. I need to leave the city safely. Right, help me, and I'll help you. You're fooling yourself, Jack. Nobody's letting us out of here alive. Look, I am a pilgrim. Let's just blow it up already. I dare you. I know you won't do it. Don't listen to him, Jack. It's over. Fuck it up! I don't know. I'm scared. Joe, wait. Joe, hey, isn't that the pilgrim who showed up at the bazaar recently? Maybe. Pilgrim or Pope? So what? Don't you get it? If he's a pilgrim, he can get us out. Lead us out of the city to someplace safe. I don't trust that fucker. You don't trust anyone. I told you to play nice with Barney when we had the chance. Fucking listen to me for once. Play nice with Barney? What for? So we can get the fuck out of the bazaar. After what we found out from the peacekeepers. We tipped off the fucker, gave him a chance to run. But he thought he was too clever for that. They warned Barney. About what? Well, about Lucas wanting to take him in on weapons charges, among others. But set a trap for him for weeks. And instead of politely getting the fuck out of here, he tried to play cute instead. So... Barney knew Lucas was after him. The moron wanted to start a war in old Villador. And you ask me, war's the last thing we need. Money, crystals, that's a different story. That's why I tried to put an end to that rabbit dog and his sister. So, Pilgrim, will you get us out of the city or what? Calm down, Joe. I won't fucking calm down. Get us out of the city, Pilgrim. To the nearest safe settlement. And no one will die here. Go ahead, press those buttons. <laughs> I'm not help you. I don't bargain with extortionists and murderers. Well now, look at the same. The pilgrim wants to preach to us. Oh, you fucking fool. Do it, Jack. Now. Goodbye, Bizarre. What? What happened? Your toys don't work? You. <laughs> you did this? You paid for that. Oh, will I? Hey! Oh, you're gonna regret that! Off with your head! And off with your head! There we go! <laughs> this weapon is so deadly! <laughs> oh, I got this thing! Oh! There's another weapon in there. Maybe the game doesn't want to give me a sweet taste of what's to come. Anything good? Broken <laughs> bottle. Broken <laughs> bottle. Why does it say broken bottle? The bottle looks whole to me. I'm making them broken. <laughs> there. Best thing is to scan on the radar. Anything else for us to do? Ah. Tape. 
weapon. What's this? Oh, there was another weapon. Anything else? Okay, well, let's activate the facility. Uh, so what now, Aiden? Smart guy. Who gets control of the water? This is what I was talking about earlier. Oh, I believe so. This is how you control who gets control over a certain area. As it shows on the map on the very right, some can be red, some can be blue and yellow. We're mainly working with blue and yellow. You never get you never get a chance to work with red. But still, you can decide what happens where. And by giving it to either the survivors or the peacekeepers, you get different benefits. For example, uh, like the thing in the middle of the screen, the PK will set those things up and you can activate them to swing into a bunch of infected. Or in another case, like we're about to get, if we give it to the survivors, we get zip lines. We can then zip line all the way to wherever they're connected to, but it'll make travel so much easier. So basically, if you like traveling, go for the survivors. If you just want combat related things, go for the PK. Because they will give you a UV trap. Pendulum trap, so I don't even know what that is. Oh, it's those things that swing. Oh, okay. And then a Molotov lanterns. Yeah, they, they are more in the combat area. They can also give you a crossbow, too. And they will also do the old classic ele electrical traps that we had in Bang Light 1. Although those are more advanced. They also give the PK Razor Cannons. They're pretty much like turrets set up in certain areas. So they allow you to absolutely destroy certain zombies. Or all the zombies are within that area. And then car traps, you can set them off. And the effect is it will get attracted to it, and the car will blow up. The leveling goes from the, from here, this way, also from the inside to the outside. Now what the survivors give you, like I showed you just now, they give us zip lines. They will also give us these pads, which will allow boosters up so we can grab higher ledges and stuff like that. Also to do an exploration. Then they can give us these bags. We can run into them, grab them, and they will drop us down. I did that once. I don't even remember that. Did I even know that that, 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 that thing did? Uh, I don't know. I think I had an idea what was happening. Survival Revival. Now if you die somewhere near it's a survivor settlement or building, I think they you can opt in for a survivor revival, which means you will revive almost exactly where you died. Air vents, well that's for something that's called a paraglider. That will boost us up. But we we don't get a paraglider until way later. Then we get extra upgraded boost pads which will launch us even higher. And then my favorite two way zip lines. So you got a zip line that goes down from one side down to another. You can also go up the zip line that goes down. Two way zip lines are just amazing. Like, oh great, this zip line only comes from that way or this way. It doesn't matter with two ways zip lines. You can go up or down them. That's the amazing part about them. And 
And sadly, right now, all we can get is classic basic zip lines, which only go one way. For the survivors! This video is going to be coming out a little, little later than usual. <laughs> I'm just thinking of the upload time and the processing time and all those things. It's always that that makes it late. Also depends on the video length. And how long it takes. To upload and process what we have here. We have unlocked city alignments. Yep, by claiming that area, we can now go all these areas. Why can't I move this icon around? Usually you're not able to do that. Oh I didn't know what, what, what am I talking about? <laughs> it wants us to zoom out, so if we zoom out. You can still see all the benefits that we can get. Now, when you're playing this game, go one way or the other, then split it. Because, uh, it's because this thing is now doing with... There we go. Now, I have to continue with this. What is this now? There we go. It's only in this menu that, that, that we can scroll around. Otherwise, I was about to say, this thing usually is stuck to where you zoom onto the map. But as you can see, this area is like a yellowish effect. And so does this area now because we've claimed the water tower for the survivors. And the blue area is for the PK. Now this area here, with the hound for the electrical station being... Right over here, we keep having to discover it every time with our binoculars and every time it disappears when I load back into the game. So we constantly just keep scanning the hound for the electrical station. But when, when we can get that going, you will also make this whole area yellow. yellow. Now keep in mind, those zipline upgrades we just got, they are only in the survivor areas, not in the PK areas. So sadly, there won't be any, be any zip lines here that's set up by the survivors, except for maybe regular zip lines that may, might be around. Hey, look at that, there's a side quest right there. Huh. All right then, it seems I can't pass over during the mission. Hey then, where the fuck are you? Barney knew Lucas was trying to capture him. Yeah. Jack and Joe warned him. Thank you. He could have avoided the trap, but he went into it anyway. That's when Lucas was killed. Sometimes I can't sleep. Maybe we should check out Barney's hideout in the Hotel Tango. I'll make sure the place is safe. Okay, so what now? We gotta go all the way over there? So how come so you can make sure Bonnie's place is safe for me to explode? That is where that inhibitor box is. That we ran past earlier. Where I said I knew where that is, but it's not by the mission. We'll get to that mission, I'd say, not the next episode, but the episode after that, maybe. As of right now, we even have a mission down here with me. I mean, yeah, I don't know, in the next episode. Because there's even a mission, unless it's pointing to that one right there. It might be. Because I know there's a ton of missions out here.
But yeah, that's where the other inhibitor is. And he also has to check out what, what these other question marks are. Was there one here earlier? Oh, did that just pop up as soon as we uh, claim the uh, water tower? I'm curious about these, these question marks. They could be side missions that pop up. Wait, where was that one that was like right here? Was it not the Forsaken Store? Yeah, for crying out loud, that might be. But there could also be side missions. I don't know, they could be anything. But it also depends, you know. The side missions change depending on who owns the area. If I have given the water tower to the PK, the one of the blue guys, side missions would have also changed. They would have also been different. And that's why playing this game twice, doing literally everything again in both factions is really a whole different experience. Sure, some main missions are always the same. But. What you find, what you experience, like these areas, that there is a pumpkin farm. That thing over there is a trading post. When the PK claims the area, it might not be that. It could be, uh, like this one over here, which is a cadet academy. Or anything like that. You know, there's a whole world that changes depending on who you give the control over the area with. Well, unlike the, uh, with Trinity, Trinity is the survivor of the territory from beginning to no end. Same with these ones over here. The red one, the yellow one, the blue one. Those you cannot change. They stay as is. But the other areas, we can, we can give them to the PK or the survivors. But like I said, this is the survivor playthrough, so the whole map is mostly going to be yellow. Well, where it can be yellow, of course. Alright then. I think that's everything. What is this mission? Oh, it's a challenge. Oh boy, it means one of those challenges where you run against the time. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well then, if, if that's the case, then I might as well take care of those and check out the rest of these question marks. There's only three of them. No, there's four. It's that one there, that one way over there, there, and then the one right there. That's fine. If we were around it like that, we'll end up being over here. Being close to this safe house right here. We can end that episode right here and then start off. Really? Is this still part of the water tower quest? Are you serious? Oh man, if I knew that, I would not have. <sighs> now I don't know what to do. Is there a car down there? I know one, one over there and one over there, but uh, is there an easier way down for me? Oh yeah, there is. <laughs> and then we go. Should I just go for it? Oh, and we found another side mission. Where is the exit? I don't know. I'm gonna climb on top of this thing and run. You can go search Barney's stuff. Coast is clear now. Okay. I'll do that. I'll do that within this last time, but that means next thing, no distractions. Just go. This is gonna be one of, one of the longest episodes ever of Dying Light 2. Oh, 
I'm running past it. Go, 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 go. Aiden, I saw Sophie and her men near the water tower. So the place should be empty now. But I don't know when they'll be back. That's okay. We have to get up there. That's fine. We got out of here before, but uh, a different way. But now, there should be a ladder somewhere. Unless I'm blind. I guess it's still not there, man. Oh, yeah, I'm looking in the wrong place, aren't I? I'm looking in the wrong place. Here's the ladder. Last time this letter wasn't here. Alright, easy. Down the zip line and get into Barney's place, huh? Right? Okay. Well, the kind of guy he is, I wonder what the place looks like. I'm just gonna easy lock like this, we don't have time <laughs> to waste. Oh, look at all those things we can loot. First of all, what's in here? <laughs> I come into someone's house and I just take all the things. <laughs> A safe? Oh. Already open and empty anyway. What's here? Some rags? That it? Oh man, there's so much stuff over there. Oh! An inhibitor container. Yes! An upgrade! Incoming! Two of them! Nice! We got here? Weapon? A bow. That weapon the 36. Swap it for the 42. Give me back that weapon. We got here? Bottle. Bottle. <laughs> Bottle. <laughs> so many bottles. Investigate. What is this? Is this some kind of collector or what? Don't know what that is, but man, there's bottles everywhere. <laughs> And that's the weapon I swapped with the other one. <coughs> Man. That ain't no proof. No, that's just a necklace. Oh, this place is a pigsty. Yeah, it definitely is. It's a mess. Who did it? Area, someone's coming your way. Oh, no, no, great. No, 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 no. Go, 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 go. <laughs> <gasps> what is that? Here's something. What, what the hell? Oh, fuck! That's that's human skin. Pacot, I found the tattoo they cut out of Lucas. Damn freaks! What? Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna throw up. Get the hell out of there! We still ain't told it! Why are you going through my sister's stuff? Didn't know they were hiring pilgrims as housekeepers in this hole. Are you shedding skin, Barney? What the fuck is. We didn't. A little piece of Lucas to remember him by, you sicko. Fuck you. Nice try. But that ain't mine. I'll kill you, you son of a bitch! Hey! Who is it to fight, Barney? It's a comment. <laughs> Stop it! What's going on here, for fuck's sake? Are you nuts? He's... He's setting us up. This fucking pilgrim is framing us. What is he talking about, Aiden? I found the proof. Hidden among your things. Proof? Of what? 
You cut the tattoo from Commander Lucas's arm. After his death? Or when he was still alive? You're out of your mind. I didn't do it. Maybe you didn't. But your crazy brother? Barney's not a psycho. We have nothing to do with Lucas's death. I'm going to aid her. I've got the proof he's looking for. Aiden, it's not us. Nobody at the bazaar will believe you. And where did this tattoo come from? And where did this piece of skin come from, Sophie? Could have been planted to set us up. Ever think of that? Who would do that? And why? To distract everyone from the real killer. Who gained the most from killing Lucas? Who had the most to gain? If it was that easy for you to get in here, then someone else could have come in here before you and planted that. I really have to say that that doesn't matter. I kind of want, I want to believe him. Doesn't matter. This is between you and Ader now. Wait! Please. Ader doesn't care about the truth. He doesn't care about finding the real killer. He's only looking for a reason to raid the bazaar. It's not my war, Sophie. No. But you'll have blood on your hands. Blood of innocence. Someone is setting us up. Someone clever. We're not sadists who would skin Lucas in him. And you know it. I know that you want to get rid of the PKs. Yes. And we will get rid of them. But not like psychos and assassins, Aiden. Believe me. This is a setup. I want to believe it. to the center. I promise. How? By getting rid of the biggest problem of this land. The PKs. <sighs> that seems dangerous. We've been preparing for this for a long time. I'll tell you everything when I'm ready. Stay close to your radio, Aiden. Time to make some changes around here. Alright. Glad we were able to settle that. Oh, man. So then who killed Lucas and who skinned him like a pig? It wasn't Sophie. It wasn't Barney. Uh -huh. I want this chest, but it's locked away somewhere. I don't know how to get to this chest. I've never have ever been able to get to this particular chest that's sitting right there. No, right there. Because even in Barney's room, it's back there. And this is no way to get to it. Man. That's messed up. So we found the piece of skin of Lucas. Man, that's, <laughs> that's really messed up. Well, right then. We gotta stay close to our radio, and Sophie will call us eventually. That usually means that we have to sleep. And wait for the next day, usually that, then something happens. Well, I don't know. I was thinking, thinking I'm gonna maybe use the time to do some other side quests that we've, we've discovered. But for right now, for the video, I am out of time. Very much so. Because you see this thing makes a cut. After like 30 minutes, somewhere after 30 minutes, it just randomly decides, okay, time to stop now. <laughs> I don't know why. But anyway, there we go. We did the raid in the water tower. I didn't expect the water tower quest to be this long. I didn't want this video to go this long, but... What can you do when you don't when you forget how missions work? And what mission did what and what not? <laughs> Alright then. The raid and the water tower quest is complete. So if you guys missed the first episode, or the previous episode of Dying Line 2, you guys can go to the beginning of the video. There will be two cards popping up there. You can click on those if you're interested. There's also a whole bunch of links in the description. One link will take you to the Dying Line 2 playlist. Two others will take you to my Facebook pages. And one other link 
I'm gonna take you to our online rank site if you are interested. They are in the bottom of the description. And so, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like, share it if you really liked it, comment and subscribe if you wish. I shall see you guys in the next video. Peace out.